Controversy intensifying this morning over masking pol policies in the St. Louis area. This as fallout continues over the Missouri Attorney General's call to end COVID health orders. Fox 2's Chris Renier is downtown with the very latest developments. Authorities here at the St. Louis City Health Department say there is still a mask mandate in the city of St. Louis because it is being renewed by the Board of Aldermen every 30 days. But in St. Louis County, it is a much different story. Officials there rescinded the mask mandate yesterday, effective immediately. Controversy is escalating in area school districts. Earlier this week, Missouri's Attorney General Eric Schmidt sent letters to school districts and local public health agencies throughout Missouri demanding that they stop all COVID related health orders such as mask mandates. That came after a Cole County judge ruled the orders were unconstitutional and that any existing COVID health orders were null and void. But many school districts have not changed their COVID protocols. Schmidt asked parents to contact his office about districts which haven't altered their policies. Our post dispatch partners report as of yesterday afternoon, the AG's office had received more than 3,200 emails. Schmidt has now sent out more than 30 cease and desist letters to Missouri school districts, telling them to immediately drop orders like mask mandates. Multiple school districts in our area have received those letters, including Rockwood. Students and parents in that district spoke out yesterday protesting the district's refusal to make masks optional. In fact, more than 100 students went to school without a mask on yesterday throughout the Rockwood district. We talked with students and parents about their concerns. I went into school, no mask on. I don't feel as if they have the right to tell us to wear the mask. If people want to mask their kids, that's their choice. But we should have the freedom and the choice to unmask our kids. Rockwood officials say there will be no discipline for those students, but they are following up with parents, letting them know that their kids can't come to school without following the district's safety protocols. Reporting downtown, I'm Chris Fernier.